Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darkchild, and welcome back to Let's Replay Final Fantasy IV. Last time, we just started with this game, having the king stripped off of our power her to command the Red Wings. We were forced to go to the village of Mist and kill every summoner, but we spared one. And now we're somewhat paying the price for if we're being marked as a traitor. While that's happening, we are found out that in Kaipo, our friend Rosa wandered out here and got sick with desert sickness. And the only way to cure her is with the sand pearl. Think we can cure her? I hope so. Since then, I leveled up Rydia from uh, level 1 to level 10. Hopefully that should be enough to, to uh, do this. If not, then we're going to get another companion to help us. Not very... Mm, in a few, few seconds. Hello there. Could it be? It is. That dark sword. Heard. Dark Knight, I need your assistance. What's wrong? I must get to Dancian to rescue my daughter. She was deceived by a wicked bard. I must hurry, or I sense an ill omen. You must be the sage Tella. Indeed I am. That girl is a summoner. Perfect. She can come help too. A great monster lurks in the lake ahead. That devil will even withstands magic. We can defeat it if we work together. So, and then I can finally be on my way. We need to reach Dancian as well. Then let us make haste. Welcome to the team, Tella. We'll rest here. This magic field repels monsters. You can save and use it and a cottage in here. Let's rest for the night. I'll prepare a tent and prepare for the upcoming battle. The girl is asleep already. She must have been exhausted. Who is she? A summoner from the village of Mist. She holds great potential. With proper training, she'll be able to master any spell. Look at her. So sweet and innocent. She reminds me of Anna at that age. Who is Anna? My daughter. She eloped with that bard from Udansian because I didn't consent to their union. Tell me, what business have you in Dancian? A friend of mine has been struck down by desert fever. Ah, so you seek the sand rupee. He, it won't be easy to obtain. But first... There's a small matter of vicious monsters that need taken care of. 
a frightful creature it is. With eight enormous tentacles. Holes, we must kill it and reach Gensian. Before it is too late. Too late for what? I don't know. I pray my instincts are wrong. Let's get a move on then. Alright, Shadow Blade, equip that on to Cecil. This way leads outside. The monster lies in the cave beyond. Use a tent outside if you must. I'm going to because I need to be at peak posi position for this. Magic wise, anyway. Trust me, you're going to rely heavily on lightning magic for this one. He's down there. I'm surprised nobody, including a kid, broke any bones while jumping down there. And this will be the only random encounter I show because they encountered me as I was talking. I'll fix Tella in a moment. Kind of annoying when you run into those frog enemies and they turn you into a toad. We don't have any Maiden's Kiss. That's okay. We have the Toad spell. That works too. Yes, that should do for Cecil for this area. As the boss is just up ahead. There he is! Prepare yourselves! Watch out! The battle against an octopus! Huh? 
Absas will attack while keeps uh, Radia and Ella use lightning on him. And the fight should go down easy. Excellent! He's weakening! Oh, Radius out of magic. But that's okay, Cecil got the final blow on him. Come now, Dancian is just beyond this waterfall. Uh-oh, the Red Wings. That's not good. And thankfully, there are no monster encounters. Is that? It is Anna. You, you are that bard. Anna ran away because of you. I forgot to remove any items on him. You spoony bard. No, wait. Die! B please listen. Shut up. F forgive me, please. Take this. Ouch. Father, stop. Oh, Hannah, I'm so glad to see you again. Father, Edward is the Prince of Dancian. Forgive me for running away, but Edward and I are in love. Still, I knew I couldn't find happiness without your consent. I was on my way home when... We were attacked by the Baron's Red Wings and their commander, Golbez. I never heard that name before. Who is he? I don't know. All I know is that his strength is beyond words. But why did they attack Dancian? They wanted the crystal, and they spared no one in the... spared no one to get it. My mother, my father, even Anna shielded me from their arrows. You love him enough to give up your own life? 
Forgive me, Father. Edward, I love you. Anna! 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 Damn you, Kobes! Who is that monster, anyway? What do you know about him? I hear he arrived in Ban Baron one day and became the new leader of the Red Wings. He... He led them in their mission to plunder the crystals. Stop your sniveling! That will not bring Anna back. Gulb is a Baron. I shall take his life with my own two hands! Wait! Tell her, you can't possibly go alone! I will kill Gobaz on my own! I don't need your help. Hope I don't need anyone's help. Tilla is gone. Anna. Stop crying. You're a grown-up. You're not supposed to cry. I lost my mom, but I'm not going to cry anymore. Rydia. I don't care. Leave me alone. I'm staying here with Anna. And I will never leave her side. He slapped him. That's enough. You're now the rightful ruler of Dancian, so start acting like it. You owe it to your people, and you owe it to Anna. Your Majesty, my name is Cecil, and I need your help. Why should I help you? My friend in Kaipo is suffering from desert fever. I need to get the Sand Ruby to save her. Can you help me? What is her name? Rosa. She is very dear to you, isn't she? Like Anna was to me. You can find the Sand Ruby in the Antlion Cave, which lies in the east. The ruby forms from the fluid that the Antlion screeches when it lays eggs. We can cross the shallow in my hovercraft have to reach the cave. After we acquire the sand ruby, we can cross the shallows once more to Kaipo. Let us be on our way. Yes, let us. Welcome to the team, Edward. Goodbye, Anna. Okay, land that hovercraft for a second. Because inside Dentian are two jars. One that's good for healing and one that's good for replenishing magic. I'm going to use both, that way we'll be at peak position position in order to take on the ant lion. MP restored. I don't know how these two are around when everybody else is dead. Guess there were some survivors after all. What level is Edward? Ooh, Edward. Oh, boy. To the Ant Lion's Cave.
Ooh, that's a new one. Let's see, I think there's a spot where we can heal up for the fight. Yeah, there it is. Use a tent. It's going to be a lot tougher w with the level we're at currently. Especially for uh, Edward. And when he gets at critical health, he'll run away and hide. He'll run and hide. We made it to the ant lion's nest. Uh, let's see. Good luck keeping Edward alive at this point. This is where the ant lion lies his eggs. It's okay. Ant lions are quite tame. They don't attack people. Here, I'll demonstrate by taking the sand ruby like so. Gah! Come on, we have to help him. Okay, I usually recommend magic being used with Rydia. Use physical and... I think sing with him on that one. For now, Cecil seems to be doing the most damage since he's using physical attack and a second level dark sword. Let's see how well lightning does on him. I don't care much for Blizzard. Eh, slightly better. Holy cow. Yep, there he goes, hiding. And I think he stays hidden while he's at critical health. Yeah, yeah he does. Which leaves the rest of the fight to us. Oh, there we go. Vridia got him. We attained the Sand Ruby. How could this happen? They're always been totally harmless. Monsters are going in numbers of late, and their behavior is changing as well. I can't help but feel this is some kind of sign. Come on, let's go cure Rosa. Right, let's go.
Rosa. Rosa is exposed to the light of the sand ruby. Uh -huh. Cecil, you're alive, thank goodness. How do you feel? I'm fine, but I thought I'd lost you. They told me 